Second Chronicle, chapter 23. And in the seventh year, Jehoiada, that's the high priest, strengthened himself and took the captains of hundreds, Azariah, the son of Joham, Ishmael, the son of Jehoshaphat, and Azariah, the son of Obed, and Mashiach, the son of Adela, Neshaphat, the son of Zechariah, into a covenant with him. Now all these names are important. As we go through the entire book of the Bible, nobody's just nobody's who's going to be before God. The Bible says that a lost man in hell has no name. But our names are written in the Lamb's book of life by the blood of Jesus Christ. And when we come to the future temple of the Lord Jesus Christ seated at King on David's throne, no man is just going to step up and do the priesthood. You've got to have a fa family genealogy. And Lord willing, when we get to Nehemiah and, and Ezra, we're going to see that there were some people, they were put out because there was no record of genealogy, and this is very important. The fact is, one day before the temple is built or during the temple uh, building or completion, God is going to have to reveal who these Jews are so they can do the temple service, that they don't know who they are today. That you'll find that England rests upon the Jewish people. That's false. The Mormons rest upon the Jewish heritage of Ephraim. That's false. And all these names are very important that God's keeping a record of. And they went about in Judah and gathered the Levites out of the cities of Judah. So they get the Levites, the priests, the ones to work the temple, the ones to do before God. And the chief of the father of Israel, they came to Jerusalem. So they got the Levites and they got the head people of each of the tribes. Important people of, of the nation of Judah. And all the congregation. So you got the Levites, you got the head of the people, and you got all the people. Made a covenant, that's a pact, that's we're going to do. We're going to set our hearts. With the king in the house of God. So that's the temple. And he said unto him. This is to Jehoiada the high priest. Behold. The king's son. Shall reign as the Lord has said unto the sons of David. Now you David. There will be a son that will sit upon the throne. Now if you remember. The king. Joash has been hidden. Athaliah the woman is. The queen of Judah right now. She's wicked. She's of the family of Jezebel and Ahab. She has killed all what she thought was the seed of uh, Azariah. And she's been found mistaken. God has had a, a male seed of David hidden. As I said, that pictures Jesus Christ. Herod goes out and says, I want you to kill all the, ba all the children from two years and under. Pharaoh says, I want you to kill all the male babies. And Moses was spared. And Jesus was spared. This is the thing that ye shall do. A third part, one third, of you entering on the Sabbath, of the priests and of the Levites shall be porters of the doors. Alright, so one third, there are going to be special men at the doors. You're the porters. This is above and beyond what David has set forth. What we're doing is we're setting up a secret service or a king or queen's guard that we know by name today. Athila is so wicked and so vile that this high priest, Jehoiada, he said, I need to protect that young man. If that woman to get, his, get her hands on him, he's dead. And that shows you how wicked they, this woman is. A third part shall be at the king's house, where the king lives. A third part at the gate of the foundation. Now look at that. We're going to set a right king in Judah. And what we're doing, we're going to do is we're going to have a man at the door. Jesus said, I am the door of the sheep, the porter openness, the Holy Spirit. He says, what we're going to do is we're going to have a third of you at the king's house, the king's residence. And then we're going to have you at the gate of the foundation. The Bible says there's no other foundation laid than that which has already been laid, the Lord Jesus Christ. And all the people shall be in the courts of the house of the Lord. 
Solomon had different courts. Courts for storage, court, courts for animal sacrifices, courts for clothes, courts for, you know. But, let none come into the house of the Lord, save the priest, and they that minister of the Levites. Now so see, here we go. All priests are Levites, but not all Levites are priests. And the ones that were not priests still had a ministering job to do in that temple. They were wood, one to get wood, get water. Maybe take the clothes and wash them. Maybe wash the feet. Get the spoons and all that. Well, I don't know. They had a service. They shall go in, for they are holy. But all the people shall keep the watch of the Lord. So no one's allowed in there. Joy of this is. I'm in charge of this place. And only the Levites and only the priests are allowed in there. Not going to make no mistake. And the Levite shall compass in circle. You know, you've seen a compass. It's a circle. And the king that shall encircle, uh, shall compass the king round about. See, self-explanatory. Every man with his weapons in his hand. Athila is a wicked, vile woman. That the man who's supposed to trust in God says, you get your weapons. And whosoever else cometh into the house, he shall be put to death. If it ain't the Levite, if it's not the priest, if it's not the king, kill him. She's going to come walking in, they're going to kill her. I don't think Jehoiada has any problem with the children of Israel. By what we read by the conclusion of this chapter. He knows that Ahilah is going to come in. She don't belong there. But be with the king when he cometh in and when he goes out. Yeah, that's the secret service. That's the queen's guard right now in England. So the Levites in all Judah did according to all the things that the holy priest, high priest had commanded. And took every man his took every man his men that were to come in on the Sabbath. Now every man his men, we already said they were captains of a hundred. That captain took his hundred men. That captain with took his hundred men. What that mean? Were to come in on the Sabbath with them that were to go out on the Sabbath. And Jehoiada the priest dismissed, that's the first time that word shows up, not the courses. And remember, the, the courses were set by David. This family to do that, this men to do this, that to be done that. He leaves the courses intact. The extra that Jehoiada is doing that has not been prescribed by David and God is, you better protect that king. Now notice the king is going into the house of the Lord. He's going to be a king that does right. Moreover, Jehoiada the priest... Delivered to the captains of hundred spears and bucklers. That's the first time that shows up. And that's kind of like a belt buckle kind of puts all your stuff latched together. Like a seat belt thingy. And shields. Man, he's preparing. He does not trust Azariah. He said he keeps saying her name a different way. That had been King David's, which were in the house of God. <laughs> David's weaponry is still in the house of the Lord, that put in there by Solomon. Because David wasn't there when, when the temple was built. And in that place of the gold, the silver, and stuff that David laid up, Solomon put all his father's we weaponry. And when David went on the run from, from uh, Saul, he comes to the priest, the high priest, and he says, You got a weapon here besides the bread? Yeah, we got the Goliath sword. He says, Let me have it. It's amazing how David's goods of this earth ends up in the house of the Lord. That's where our goods should be. Jesus said, Lay not your treasures in the, in the earth or the world, lay your treasures up in heaven. Well, what's the closest thing that David can get to heaven? The tabernacle, the temple. And he set all the people, every man having his weapon in his hand, not in the sheath, not in his side, in his hand. 
Now, the modern church would love that. You know, we're going to bring our guns and, we're, you know. There's not that many churches that have been violated today yet. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. From the right side of the temple to the left side of the temple, along by the altar, that would be the brazen altar, and the temple by the king round about. So they're in the courtyard. Then they brought out the king's son. Here he is, Joash. And put upon him the crown, he's crowned, and gave him the testimony. Now can we look at Exodus 25, 21 about this testimony? And we'll let scripture talk to us. I didn't look at any commentaries. I just looked in the scriptures, Exodus 25, 21. And this is the best way with scriptures I can apply this. And once this is put in the ark, the ark becomes the ark of the testimony. But look at Exodus 25, 21. Now shall put the mercy seat up above upon the ark. That's the one with the cherubims the seat. And the ark shall thou shalt put the testimony that I shall give thee. Well, what does God give Moses? He gives them the written law written on the stones. He gives them uh, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy written. So that testimony would be the Bible. The Old Testament that they have. And if you remember the law stated that they were to write the law, the king. So Jehoiada, what the law says, the king is to sit down and write his own copy. Do you know what Jehoiada does to Joash? Here's your, here is the copy of the law. You're going to have to start writing. There it is. You know, that has not happened. I don't know if Joash copies, but I have not heard about a king yet that has sat down and written his own copy. But Jehoiada hands Joash what I would assume the testimony is the law and made him king. And Jehoiada and his sons anointed him with oil and said, God save the king. That's an English chant. They got that out of the Bible. Because they also say that, you know, this sea came way over and that's Edward Stone, whatever it is. And they're of the seed of... No, it's not. Move on. Verse 12. Now when Athaliah heard the noise of the people running and praising the king. I mean, there's just a commotion all around. They are just joyful. Not with this mean, nasty woman. How dare you guys be happy in my room? What are you guys doing at the temple? She's an ambassador of Baal and Asherah and all the fallen gods. We'll see in a moment. What is the commotion? Remember, this, this Joash has been hid in the temple and never to be seen by anybody but the priest. She came to the people into the house of the Lord. There she goes. This is exactly what Jehoiada figured she would do. And she looked and behold, the king stood at his pillar at the entering in. Now is that one of the columns, the pillars that, that Solomon named Boaz and I forget the other one? And the princes and the trumpeters by the king. And all the people of the land rejoiced and sounded with trumpets and also the singers and the instruments of music. Just an extra K there. That's how, this, that's how the old English wrote it. Nothing wrong. And such as taught to sing praise. So they were taught how to sing. They were taught how to play their instrument. And they are playing it for the king for the Lord. In the house of the Lord. Then Athaliah rent her clothes. That's not very ladylike. She's ripping her dress or whatever she's wearing. And said, treason, treason. Lady, God's going to say to you, murder her, murder her. That throne, that royalty does not belong to her. She's not of the seed of David. Her land's up in Israel, not Judah. Who's doing the treason here, you liar? Then Jehoiada, the priest, brought out the captains of hundreds that were set over the host. 
and send it to him. Have her fourth out of the Rangers. Get her out of here. Take her to the shooting range. That's in the King James Bible. Take her where you shoot your artillery. You want to practice, man? Practice on her. Don't use a paper target. Use her. That's what he's saying. And whosoever followeth her, let him be slain with a sword. Anybody that backs her up, anybody supporting her, anybody who's going to get her a lawyer, anybody who's going to stand up, anybody who's going to say, hey, don't do that to her, they go dead too. For the priest said, slay her not in the house of the Lord. She is standing in the house of the Lord. Don't slay that w wicked woman here. Don't slay that wicked blood here. Take her out. I don't mean for a date either. So they laid hands on her. <laughs> they had to force her out. And when she was come to the entering of the horse gate. <laughs> horse gate. <laughs> I like that. By the king's house. <laughs> they slew her there. Nay. By the way, you know what they were doing with horses, the heathen in the area? Bestiality. It may have been a veil too, you know. And Jehoiada made a covenant between him. The people made a covenant. Now Jehoiada, the high priest, is making a covenant. And between all the people, and between the king, that they should be the Lord's people. Now look at Joash. We are God's people. We're not of Baal. We're not of this goddess. We're not of Dagon. We're not of... We're God's people. Then all the people went to the house of Baal. Ooh. Baal has a church. Let's see what's in Baal's church. And break it down. Ooh. Jehoiada, you're a mean guy. And break his, his, Baal's, his altars. Baal's church has altars. Beware. And his images. In pieces. You know churches that have images? And altars? It may be Baal's. And slew Matin, the priest of Baal, before the altar. So it's plural. You know somebody who has priests? They have images. They have altars. They might be a Baal. And God's people and God's high priest tore the place down and slew the priest of Baal. I'm offended. God is right. And Jehoiada appointed the offices of the house of the Lord by the hand of the priests, the Levites, who David had distributed in the house of the Lord, that's how David set up, to offer the burnt offerings as prescribed in the law. Now, remember, Jehoiada, he's the high priest. What's he doing? He's establishing the worship at the temple that's been gone for a while. He's getting it all back going again. He's getting the motion back. He had to get the Levites because they weren't there. He had to get the priests. They weren't there. Now we got rid of that wicked woman. Now we got a king that loves the Lord. Let's get things rolling again, please. Please. Of the Lord to offer the burnt offerings of the Lord as is written in the law of Moses, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, with the rejoicing with singing as David prescribed, again, as was ordained by David. So, what's ordained? To be set, to establish, to decree, to approve. And he set the porters at the gates of the house of the Lord, those are the people that stand at the gates. That none which was unclean in anything should enter in. Jehoiada says, if they don't belong in here, you stop them. Now, what do you do with churches today when their signs say, all are welcome? That's against the Bible. You're unclean. If you're lost and have never believed in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, you don't belong in the church. The church is for saved people. The church is saved people. The assembly of the saved people don't need no lost people because then you get like what the church is today. Corrupted. 
Jesus said, where I am, where there are two or three to gather together in my name, there I am miss of him. In the churches, there we have two in Jesus' name, you know, one in the Catholic name, one who's trying to get, you know, voting points, and one who's here because he has to be here, and one guy's here because he thinks God so approves of him. That's not, that's not the church. And I'm talking about a group of people. I ain't talking about the building. And today they got the signs. All are welcome. Well, not in God's plan. And he took the captains of the hundreds and the nobles and the governors of the people and all the people of the land and brought down the king from the house of the Lord down. The house of the Lord is high. It's up on a mountain. High. And they came through the high gate. Look at the gate names. The foundation gate. The high gate. Jesus Christ is to be the highest of all. Into the king's house. The king's house is lower than the house of the Lord, but yet you have to go through the high gate. If that's not a type of Jesus Christ, I don't know what is. It set the king upon the throne of the kingdom. And all the people of the land rejoiced. And the city was quiet. That means peaceful. Because they're having a hip hop, hula, shirel, trumpets, and all kinds of rejoicing. After that, after that, they had slain Athaliah, or whatever you want to say her name, with the sword. She was a wicked woman of Jezebel serving Baal. They got rid of Baal, tore down Baal, and there's rejoicing. He's a good king. 